Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning, July 11th, 10.55 a.m. ish, 56. Yeah, we are just getting started for our day, <laughs> to be honest. And we're gonna start it by going for a walk because it's not 70 degrees yet. It's gonna be another um, hot day, not blasting, but hot. And we do want to get our steps in. We're tired of it being so hot in the afternoon, evening that we're not getting any steps. So we're going to go do it now. I will take some pictures if I can and all of that stuff. And uh, Okay, yet again, I'm having another day where I'm out for a walk. And there are creatures in our path. Bir most All birds. Some flying right past Bob's head and buzzing his head. <laughs> and they just are not interested in moving very quickly. They don't care that we're there. <laughs> so I don't know if it's because it's been warm or I don't know, but it's interesting. All right, I'll be morning, back. Morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, July. Hold on, the 12th. And pardon me while I move the seat up so my feet actually can reach the pedals in the car because let's just say there's a large height disparity between my husband and myself. Okay, so I got my mail dropped off. Um, I went by uh, the local little drugstore around the corner uh, from the post office because it was convenient to get a few more uh, mailing envelopes. I also got some foam core, so I guess I am really looking at that pen situation today. <laughs> serious enough, I'm serious enough about it to buy the foam core to think about making some drawers, so that's a thing, evidently. First we have to see if I can get it down to... Uh, a collection well enough to fit into the smaller space that I have assigned for pens and markers because I do have a smaller space. So I'll be working on all that evidently. I'll film some of it for you. I do want anyway. to tell you that part of the lesson that I'm learning with my art supplies and all this purging that I've been doing is you really don't need a lot to create with and to create fun fabulous art with. And you really just need to gravitate towards those supplies that really speak to you. And if you take a class or follow an artist, even myself, that uses a particular kind or brand of art supply that you don't have, that doesn't mean you need to go buy it. Look and see what you have in your stash that will work and um, substitute for what you have or what you can get cheaply. If you do want to try something, I do recommend that you do open stock. What does that mean? So like Faber-Castell will sell pens in a set, but often they will also sell just one. So instead of buying a whole set of something, you can just buy one pen or marker um, and that'll work. And then you can try that brand or that particular kind of product. And if you like it, then you can go add more to your collection, but you don't have to like spend a ton of money on a whole set right off the bat. And there's a lot of things like colored pencils that unless you're a strict particular colored pencil enthusiast if you're just the basic mixed media artist Crayola is probably fine to be honest that's my opinion um, if you want it to be light fast and archival of course then you want something better than art than Crayola but yeah anyway all right lecturing enough I'm gonna go in and look around and get some steps in and I will be back okay you guys oh my god so the great pen purge happened and where I used to have pens here, here, and here, obviously I moved my watercolor palettes up. I used some foam core to make these bins here that hold my watercolor tubes um, so I could lighten up the collection of mediums and stuff down here, spread things that I am keeping out a little bit. I am working through some of the stuff that's down here and gonna be purging or using more of what's down here. But in the meantime, spread out what I was keeping, make it more, made, make it make more sense. I am gonna label these in just a second. Um, 
I got all of these spare pens that I'm keeping to use that aren't living on the work table over here. Over here, so they're by color. I do find I use this system a lot. I'm working on a journal page. I decide I want something in brown. I grab the brown bin. I bring it to the table, fish around in it for what I want that's gonna work and go for it. Um, that one's backwards. I probably have too many metallic pens. That one was backwards, I just said that. There we go. Um, I probably have too many metallic pens, but you know, it's a thing. Anyway, I got all my spare Bic pens here. Um, and I'm just remembering, I need to make a label for that. My spare water brushes, you know, these, these kind. Oops, these kind. I do like this particular brush by Pentel um, in all of its different sizes, but I am very hard on them. So I do keep a drawer full of spares. Um, and then I have some different kinds of water soluble crayon and a little bit of charcoal and stuff in here. Um, Anyway, it led to me disassembling a bunch of stuff, dragging a bunch of bins in from my spare bin board. I would say collection, but that's not true. Um, which I now have to put back because none of them fit fit here. None of them fit here. So I had to make something out of foam core. Um, so now I have to put that stack away. <laughs> um, and I'm keeping the inserts that go here in case I ever want to put them back, so I'll hang on to them. Um, I did make these again out of foam core, and I I taped the outside together, and then I reinforced the inside edges here in the corners and the edges with hot glue, um, and that seems to work really well. For the moment, it'll work fine. I do wish I had prettier tape to put on the outside, um, but I'm all out of white book binding tape, so I just use packing tape. I may change it at some point, but uh, you know, who knows? Anyway, now I have to deal with that. <laughs> and I've got nothing else done today. I just was doing that because, you know, one thing led to the other. I do have now five, hold on. Yes, five. Five small, very full priority mailboxes full of extra drawing materials, pens, pencils, markers. Each box has two oil pastels, uh, oil crayon, oil. What are they? Hold on, two of oh, these. Oh. These are the extra ones I couldn't get in the box. Um, these are Shiva oils, oil paint sticks. Um, so um, remember what I was saying earlier about not buying stuff for a class just because the teacher says you need it trying what you have and all of most of my classes I think I say always say that I'm going to use this but use what you have if you have if you have this try that don't I always felt like I had to buy what the teacher said I had to buy which is not true so anyway and I don't like oil paint fun fact so there's two um like oil paint sticks in here there's two um big markers in here it might be two Faber-Castell pit pens the big pit pens it might be one pit pen and a uh, permapake pen, it might be two permapakes. They're all sealed now, that random. The smaller pens might be um, Muji pens in colors. They might be uh, Posca paint pens. They might be a generic knockoff. They might be Crayola pencils. They might be Duran ink tan pencils. It's just a huge variety of stuff. And again, the boxes are already sealed. They're at random. I'm gonna list them for sale in the Etsy shop. The link is down below. So if you want one, grab it now while they last. What else? That's it for the minute. I better print that other label, get everything labeled, and then I guess start putting stuff away. All right, I'll okay. be back. Things are relabeled and put away. The mess on that desk over there is gone. It's all put back to rights in the um, storage bin closet. And yes, I do have a storage bin closet. I, it's not only storage bins, but yeah, anyway. Um, I also took one of the old pen sections that was over here in these racks behind me where I put the new drawers. And I'll try to do this slowly so I don't make y'all dizzy. I put it here. I love that. It'll be a few days before you all see this vlog and before I list those um, stuff, those pen boxes of pens I'm getting rid of on Etsy. And so that's okay because it gives me a few days to do some work up here and see if there's anything in those boxes I miss. I really seriously doubt it. 
but I guess one never knows. I just realized it's 4.05 p.m. Tuesday, July 13th, and I forgot to vlog today. Oops. Well, that's at least partly because I think I'm getting a delivery. Oh, I think that's the ring. That's part, at least partly because I was, okay, yes, that was Amazon with another book I ordered. Um, this one is called Birds in Water Color Collage and Ink. This one, which I will be reading next after I finish it, uh, Felix um, Scheinberger's book, Urban Watercolor Sketching, which I'm, it's like right here on the sofa. I'm still working my way through. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I spent most of this morning in a Zoom chat with some friends and supporters of the free content here on YouTube and the Facebook art groups and um, working on some more drawings. I'm trying to finish up one of my drawing journals. So yeah, it was just a busy morning doing a lot of Nothing in particular, just chatting and making art. Um, I had a late lunch watching my soap opera right now, General Hospital. And then oh, I guess I'll probably do some chores because I probably should at some point. <music> Hey guys, so we're out for our, our evening walk. It's very late in the evening. I don't think it's nine o'clock yet, but it's late. But 17 minutes to nine. But it's finally cool enough to go walking, so that's what we're doing. I have this idea from chatting with everybody today in the art chat. Um, and watching a couple of videos afterwards um, that I think tomorrow I'm going to work on paper clusters. If you don't know what those are, I'll either explain it here in the vlog or in a future video. If you want to see me work on them, maybe become a patron or a YouTube membership person. But I think they're intriguing. Look up My Life Mitts. I'll link her video down below. Where she's working on a journal page. She doesn't show how to make them, but I like her little tiny paper clusters. And I'll link a couple of other videos that I saw. Anyway, I'm gonna go to get some steps in and I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is 9 a.m. Wednesday, July 14th, maybe? Oh, holy cow, July 14th. Um, I am headed out to Walmart to go pick up a couple things really quick. I want to get it over with in the morning. I have my mask with me just in case I've got actually a couple of them. Cases are surging around the world again because of the Delta variant and... Yeah, I don't want to get sick. So even though I'm vaccinated, I'm going to be cautious as I can, where I can, and all of that stuff. So anyway, we're gonna go get our errands done really quick. Just one errand, Walmart. And um, <laughs> my car is full of leaves and tree parts. Anyway, well, there goes one. Um, then we're gonna come home and I think while I listen to some YouTube or music or chat with art friends or something, I'm going to work on some little small paper clusters inspired by My Life Mitts. Um, I really like that idea and I've got some random ephemera bits downstairs that I had downstairs in my downstairs drawing bag that have been honestly living in there for quite a while and I haven't used up and so I think I'm going to turn the majority of them into um, paper clusters and I've got a lot, a lot of stickers and stuff so I can decorate with those and washi tape and uh, you know you get the idea. I'll film some of it for a YouTube video. I might put a clip here and there in the vlog. We'll see. At the time of filming this I don't know what I'm gonna do.
here we are again going on another evening walk. I kept meaning to vlog this afternoon and then I started chatting with my friend Leslie McGrath and working on some paper clusters and I'll put a picture here of some of them. There's a number of videos. I talked about them earlier yesterday, I think. Anyway, yes, I'm addicted to them now. I even made a foam core sorting tray for some bits and pieces as I'm working on other projects in the art room and I find things, oh, that would make, be good on a cluster. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> I'll, I'll put the picture of the tray right about here. It's not my best hot glue job I've ever done, but it's serviceable and it'll do just fine. And it cost me nothing because I had all the pieces. So anyway, we're gonna go get some steps now and I don't think it's even eight o'clock yet, so early for us. Five after. Five oh, five after. Anyway, still early, but it's nice and cool. Gonna go get some steps, get some walking in, see what we can see. I'll Good be morning, back. Morning everyone, it is Thursday morning, July 15th, 10.06 a.m. Don't get excited, I'm looking at the iPad. Um. I am just upstairs here. I was trying to clean the hot glue off the little ceramic dish I used to rest the glue gun on last night when I was making this tray. It's not the best glue job I've ever done by any stretch. Y'all see this like mess of glue down here? Like, it's really not, but I do like it overall. It is gonna work very well. It's very functional. So anyway, it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to work well. Um, but then I was trying to get the glue off of the dish and am I the only one that knew that rubbing alcohol, which is what's in here, dissolves the adhesive properties of hot glue. Popped right off, wiped right off with a, I put some on there, let it set for a couple seconds, wiped it off with a paper towel. Like seriously, I had no idea. Where have Hi, I been? It is Friday morning, July 16th, 9.44 a.m. I had a late start this morning, but you know, not for any particular reason, just because I didn't feel like getting up and taking a shower. Some days are like that. Anyway, I am going to be working on some more paper clusters and my paper cluster tray, um, which I love the tray, but I made a mess and it's working great, but I made a mess with the hot glue on the inside of the tray and or didn't quite catch all the holes. I want to make sure each little well is like sealed up and I had an idea to use some fast dry caulking I actually happen to have up here in the art room so I'm going to actually take everything out of here and put it in neat little piles caulk the inside of each one of these and then um, while that's drying work on some paper clusters because you know why not while I'm watching some YouTube because why not all right I'll be back. Okay, that was messy, but, and it's still not the prettiest thing on the planet. You can see where it's lumpy and gluey and messy, but at least now all the um, different sections are sealed and from each other and glued down and that's all it needs to be. It doesn't need to be pretty, it just, it's a, like a sorting tray. And honestly, when I'm not making clusters, it's going to sit um, on the, bookshelf somewhere. <laughs> I can't Hold do on. this one handed, hang on. So when I'm not making paper clusters, it's going to sit right here with scraps and bits and pieces in it. And uh, honestly, it doesn't need to be pretty, but yeah, you can see how lumpy it is. It's not my best glue job, but it is functional. Of course, if I knew somebody who worked, had a giant 3D printer or worked with wood and they could build me one out of one of those, that would be better than foam core but I don't, and this is what I had, and so it didn't, it didn't cost me anything, and it'll work. Let me get you some measurements. Hang on one second. There is nothing quite like thinking that you're filming and you're not really filming, you're doing something else. <laughs> anyway, I was just measuring my tray, and um, it is about 22 and a half inches long and about 10 and a half inches um, deep. This way, it's got three rows of um, compartments and um, I didn't do a super great job of measuring them, but uh, 
compartments are approximately three inches square. Some are a little less, some are a little more, um, which is great. It gives me 21 different compartments. Now the caulking I just used to seal up said compartments dries in about 20 minutes. So we're gonna set this aside. We're gonna make some paper clusters while I watch some YouTube. I'll be back. Okay, paper clusters. There's a million ways to make them. There's a lot of videos on YouTube. Um, I will link um, a few down below if I can find something good. If you all have a good video link, um, by all means, put it in the comments. Anyway, um, ideally we would have, of course, our tray out here sorted with some scraps and bits and pieces, but I disassembled it, as you know, to seal up the little holes. Um, but I have like piles on my desk and the idea is you grab things at random and do little, little mini compositions that can later then be used on a tag or an art journal page, or um, I may put some of these in Etsy orders and stuff like that. Like, yeah, so they can be used for lots of little things. And um, you can glue them. Um, I've been stapling, like I have a bunch of the, I have the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher, is that what it's called, I think? Um, and I've got a lot of staples. And so I, yeah, so I've been just stapling them. Quick, easy, to the point. So let me show you, let me do one, and then I'm gonna fast forward, I'll be back. process for making a paper cluster. I'm going to make a bunch more of them. I'll be back.
morning everybody it is saturday morning july 17th i think 11 13 a.m is that right uh, 11 13 11 14. yeah um we are gonna get the car washed i'm gonna turn the camera around in just a minute and then we're gonna go on a drive maybe do some garage sailing and thrifting maybe go drive i don't know we're gonna go drive around just why not all right we'll take you with us though i'll be back Okay, so <clears throat> we found the local uh, veterans thrift shop. So I was telling you all uh, previously that I kept saying, seeing donation trucks around, or maybe I meant to tell you and didn't, I don't know yet until I review the footage. Anyway, it was pickupplease.org. I kept seeing their trucks around town and they're part of the veterans. And so they pick up for the veterans store, which is the red, white, and blue store. And we went there today and it is, I like it. Uh, the prices are good. You have to dig a little bit, but, and because it's Saturday, it was really crowded, but I like it. I'll be back. Um, we didn't find too much today, but we did find some cool things. Just a few things. We don't need too much to be fair. I was looking for another old dictionary to rip up, but that's the one thing I didn't find. So, you know, oh well. Anyway, we're in Lake Oswego now and we just had some ice cream at Salt and Straw, which was really good, but now I'm really full. We stopped uh, an hour or so ago and got lunch at Togo's. There might only be like one Togo's in all of Oregon because it's really a California thing. Um, but anyway, I had a sandwich there that was good. But anyway, I'm really full now. <laughs> just waiting for Bob. And then we're gonna go get some steps in and we're gonna go do some more driving around maybe. Yeah, hopefully I'll find a dictionary if we stop anywhere else. I'll be back. Okay, so while we would like to be couch potatoes since our driving and shopping adventures this afternoon, and we kind of did that for a little bit, we're headed out for a walk instead. It's probably the smarter move. We did come right out the front door and it's either skunk or skunk weed, but I'm pretty sure it's skunk because we do live next to the woods. The whole front yard smells. It's not massive deadness. Let's at least I don't think so. That's a skunk. Yeah, it's definitely a skunk. So anyway, trust me, they smell different. <laughs> All right. So anyway, we're going to go for a walk, get some steps in. I'm going to see if I can get any more pictures today. I hope you've enjoyed the week and that you've had a good one. That you're making whatever's going on in your life work and making the best of it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the video description for relevant links, ways to support the free content, all that stuff. Follow me on Instagram, you know, all the stuff. It's all down there, always. Anyway, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> anyway, go out and have a good day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you all next week. I'm gonna go get some steps in. Bye guys.